Hey everyone, today I'm going to be showing you the books that I'm currently reading. There are two which I am in the middle of reading and the rest are all library books that need to be read immediately so they can go back to the library very soon. So the first one is Byron in London, edited by the now late Peter Cochran. And this is basically a collection of essays uh, about Byron in London and I'm, I'm not very far into it. But what I've read I've really enjoyed and being a devotee of Byron and being an addict of London, there's a lot in this that I can treasure. 22 Dead Little Bodies! It's Stuart McBride's 22 Dead Little Bodies, uh, one of his short stories with McRae and Steele, and I love Steele so much it's ridiculously unhealthy. And when I saw that the library had ordered this in, I reserved it immediately, um, so I believe I'm the first person to get this out of the library, which is just so exciting, and I cannot wait to read it. I've only read like a teeny, teeny, weeny bit of it. And I loved his previous short story. I mean, McRae is one of my favourite characters. Stuart McBride is probably my favourite contemporary author ever. And certainly my favourite crime writer. And I just, I cannot wait to get through this properly. I'm so stupidly excited. With the final three, I kind of know what to expect. The first one is Sally Bowman's Rebecca's Tale. And my friend recommended Rebecca's Tale to me because it's basically a sequel, or, or I guess an extension, to Daphne du Maurier's Rebecca. Daphne du Maurier is my favourite no longer living author and Rebecca is probably one of if not my all-time favourite novels so I'm looking forward to seeing how this one fares. It could be disastrous, I could find that it's not to my style or anything like that but I have high hopes for it and anything that works with uh, Mrs de Winter is going to be very interesting. The next two are from Crime Writers which I've recently fallen in love with. The first one is The Cruelest Game by Hilary Bonner and her writing style is so wonderful, so exquisite, it's exactly what I like. Uh, her characters are interesting. From what I've read so far, the protagonists are usually the criminals or people who are victims or things like that rather than police officers and I do usually prefer crime novels where the DIs or DCs or PCs are the protagonists um, but they obviously still feature and I kind of can never put her books down. Black Dog by Stephen Booth is our final one in the haul and this is the first Cooper and Fry one. Uh, I've recently read one that's kind of in the middle of the Cooper and Fry series and Diane Fry is one of my new favourite book characters, I love her. And I thought I want to go to the beginning and I had a little bit of difficulty getting hold of this from the library. I reserved it and they didn't give me it and then I checked the shelf and it was there. I don't know. Um, well, this is the first one in the series and this is probably going to become a, an addiction very very quickly. I really enjoyed the previous one which I can't remember the name of it but it was about the horse scandal and this one just looks wonderful. I always love getting a batch of books out of the library that I know are going to be really exciting and have great potential. If you have any book recommendations for me do let me know as I'd love to hear them. Any suggestions for future videos let me know and I'll speak to you all soon. Bye!